Good evening from London. Britain's unemployment rate has risen to 4.2 percent as a number of workers in payroll jobs falls and more people leave the jobs market. According to latest figures, the unemployment total rose by 85,000 in the December to February quarter to 1.44 million. That takes the jobless rate to its highest level since last summer, just before the UK began sliding into a shallow recession. The number of people in employment fell by 156,000 in the quarter to 32.98 million as firms cut back on their workforce. Despite rising unemployment, regular pay growth, excluding bonuses, was stronger than expected at 6% in the three months to February, underlining the dilemma facing the Bank of England over when to start cutting interest rates. British clothing company Superdry has announced it will delist from the London Stock Exchange in a huge restructuring aimed at turning its fortunes around. It says it would be forced to enter into administration if it did not go ahead with the plans. As part of the plans, the company is also looking to raise up to £10 million through the sale of new shares, known as an equity raise. The fashion business, which runs 216 shops as well as franchise stores, has been looking at various ways to cut costs after a year of weakening sales and deepening losses. The firm has struggled to appeal to younger shoppers despite partnering with influencers and stepping up its social media marketing on Instagram and TikTok. China's economy made a stronger-than-expected start to the year, even as the crisis in its property sector deepened. According to official data, gross domestic product expanded by 5.3% in the first three months of 2024, compared to a year earlier. That beat expectations the world's second-largest economy could see growth slow to 4.6% in the first quarter. Last month, Beijing set an ambitious annual growth target of around 5%. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics also showed first quarter retail sales growth fell to 3.1%. In the same period, property investment fell 9.5%, highlighting the challenges faced by China's real estate firms. Electric car maker Tesla plans to lay off more than 10% of its global workforce, equivalent to at least 14,000 roles. According to a memo sent to employees by CEO Elon Musk, the cuts are necessary due to the duplication of roles and job functions in certain areas. The move follows a difficult start to the year for the company and comes less than two weeks after Tesla reported it had made approximately 387,000 deliveries to customers in the first quarter of 2024, missing market expectations by about 13 percent. It was its first fall in deliveries in nearly four years. The company cited production problems caused by unforeseen factors such as attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and an arson attack on its factory in Berlin. But the figures also pointed to a softening in global demand. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.